Why does art matter? I think art is a very important part of everyone's life. Everyone, I feel very strongly, has some sort of creative instinct within them. The instinct to be able to create, to paint, to draw, to construct. And I think a lot of us need to have some sort of outlet. I'm Richard Jansen, and I am currently uh, president of the Pinellas Park Art Society. How often do you hear from people who are getting near retirement, and the first thing they will say is, I want to take art classes. I want to learn how to draw. I want to learn how to paint. And all we need to do is look around us. We see art everywhere. My name is Mary Weller. I don't know if I've always been an artist, but I've always been crafty and always have done craft type art things. So these are my pottery pieces. This one here is more of a utilitarian type. It's a tea mug or a coffee mug. I do some of this hand work where you just hand make the item. These are thrown on a wheel. This one here again was a bowl that I threw on the wheel. And this one here is one I threw on a wheel, but it's done a little bit different. It's called raku, and it is fired differently. This is called a horsehair raku. My name is Terry Mills. I've been with the Art Society for 10 years. This is one of my pieces of graphite pencil, German Shepherd. And the one on the far end is Jack Russell Terrier, which is charcoal pencil. This is a Boston Terrier charcoal pencil. And this is charcoal pencil catatonic. Hi, <laughs> my name is Kate Moore. We came to take a watercolor class from Richard. Joined up shortly after that. I teach a class in Alcohol Inc. It's an uh, all day workshop and um, it covers the basics and then all the way through embellishments, spreading out the, the medium a little bit more than just doing drops of ink. I'm a facilitator. I try to bring out what people have inside of them. So this is just an extension of teaching, but because I'm passionate about it, it's so much fun. I don't hesitate at all. It gives you the opportunity to experiment and to try something new other than what you thought was just simple painting and drawing. Once you get into teaching some of these students various, various styles of different artists, you begin to bring in art history. Uh, and then our instructors show them many, many techniques that maybe they're not familiar with. I love that anybody can create if they can get past the, I'm not enough, I'm not good enough. You know, I'll never be a professional watercolorist, but I can share this and I love this. And the best part is I can share it with other people. I can start a piece and get so involved in it that Anything that I have going on in my life that's bothering me, I can forget it, and I can just be free and just let my art do what it wants to do. Same thing when I did the pottery. I couldn't go to the pottery and, and throw a bowl if I was upset. The same thing's true with the alcohol ink. If you can't let your mind just let go, you don't end up with what you're looking for. You're too tense and you don't get it. This somebody brought in and said to try it. So I did. What I love most about art is how it relaxes me. When I draw, my only relaxation, it mellows my anxiety. Well, number one, we're, this particular art society, the Pinellas Park Art Society, not only helps artists, but it helps our community at large. The uh, art society here in Pinellas Park uh, was established in 1964. So we have been here now 54 years, and continuously and ongoing. We also have a showcase in, in one of our galleries, and people can show their work there, and as a nonprofit also. And once a month, the city of Pinellas Park has an art walk. The art walk is something put on by the city, and we tend to be at the end of the line. So the people will come in, sit down in front of me, and play, and that's the whole idea get people to play, create something. We have Mary doing the, the coasters. We have one table set up for children. 
to do anything to get them moving artistically. Not only could we open up the doors to seniors as we have now, but to young people. We now offer to a graduating senior is going to pursue a career in the visual arts, we offer a $1,500 scholarship every year. And we've been granting that for the past five or six years. It's that same eye-opening experience when that little kid finally understands what you're teaching them and the little light bulb goes off. It's just worth every bit of it. How can we expect our children to be creative engineers or anything else if we don't expand their minds? Our goal is to have workshops on a more regular basis, at least one a month and um, more classes and more of this type of activity, we have the open studio, but then giving the uh, people the opportunity to learn something new. Uh, art societies are all over the world, and nine times out of 10, uh, they're free. They are nonprofit organizations. I mean, you pay a minimal membership fee for the year to belong. So I would definitely encourage anybody who's interested in the arts to just go into these places, check them out, and I think you'll be very surprised. <laughs>